Hello everyone, this is Sir James, your virtual teacher. Welcome to our math video tutorials. Ngayong araw, ay pag-aaralan natin ang tungkol sa adding and subtracting decimals and mixed decimals. Ang ating objective ngayon, we're going to add and subtract decimals and mix decimals through ten thousands without or with regrouping. Pero bago yan, mahalagang malaman muna natin ang place value ng ating mixed decimals. We have 32 and 4,251 ten thousands. Ang mga numbers na nasa gawing kaliwa ng ating decimal point ay ang mga whole numbers. At ang mga digit naman na nasa gawing kanan ng ating decimal point ay ang ating decimal numbers. Dito muna tayo sa ating whole numbers. Sa ating example, ang place value ng ating 2 ay 1s. Ang place value naman ng 3 ay 10s. Habang papalayo, ang ating digit sa ating decimal point ay lumalaki naman ang kanyang place value. So kung meron pa tayong digit dito, ito ay magiging hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and so on. Ngayon punta naman tayo sa ating decimal numbers. Ang unang digit na nasa kanan ng ating decimal point ay tens. Ang place value ng 4 ay tenths. Please take note of the THS na nasa dulo. Ibig sabihin, pag may THS, we per that pertains to decimal numbers. Ang place value naman ng 2 ay hundreds. Ang place value naman ng 5 ay thousands at ang 1 ay nasa 10 thousands place Ngayon, kung alam mo na ito I guess ready na tayo sa ating next lesson ang adding and subtracting decimals Unahin muna natin kung paano mag-add ng decimals Example Find the sum of 1 and 532 thousands and 64 hundreds. Meron tayong tatlong steps na susundin kung paano mag-add ng decimals. Step 1, write the decimal numbers in column. Align the decimal point. Ang technique dito, first ina-arrange natin in column. So, we have 1 and 532 thousands. And then, 64 hundreds. Dahil sa mga tinatanong, so we're going to add. Then, pagkatapos nating ayusin in column, step number 2. Annex zeros to complete the decimal places. Let me emphasize this. Dapat ang ating decimal point ay naka-align din in column. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, ang ating whole number, align, lahat ng ones, decimal point, align, ang ating tenths place ay dapat naka-align, hundreds place ay naka-align din, thousands place ay dapat naka-align din, and so on. Pinakamainam na paraan ay dapat pareha sila ng number ng digit ng mga addends. As you can see, Yung addends natin sa taas ay merong tatlong uh, digits. So, dapat yung sa ilalim ay da meron ding tatlong digits. So, paano? Magdadagdag tayo ng zero. Yan. Parehas na ang ating digits ng ating decimal numbers. Next step, add the numbers just like adding whole numbers. Points of the decimal point align with those in the addends. 
So, ibig sabihin, i-add lang natin sila na kung pa paano tayo mag-add ng whole numbers. 2 plus 0 is equals to 2. 3 plus 4 is equals to 7. 5 plus 6 is equals to 11. Dahil hindi natin pwedeng isulat ang 1 dito, so we're going to regroup. Carry 1. Okay, so 1 plus 1 is equals to 2. Pero dapat, ang ating decimal point ay naka-align din. Then write the whole number, which is 2. So, the sum is 2 and 172 thousands. Next example. What is 25 hundreds? Added to 30 and 4,563 ten thousands. So again, meron tayong tatlong steps na susundin. Step 1, write the decimal numbers in column. Align the decimal point. So we have 25 hundreds plus 30 and 4,563 ten thousands. So dahil ang term natin ay added, Ibig sabihin, we're going to add. Since naayos na natin ang numbers natin in column, we're going to proceed with step 2. Annex zeros to complete the decimal places. Sabi kanina, dapat ay pareha sila ng number ng digits dito. So since dalawang digit lang yung addends natin sa taas, so we're going to add two zeros. In such a way, meron na tayong apat na digits sa ating addends. Dito sa baba, apat na rin. So, we're going to proceed with our step number 3. Add the numbers just like adding whole numbers. Points of the decimal point aligned with those in the addends. So again, we're going to add the way in the same manner kung paano tayo mag-add ng whole numbers. So, 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. 0 plus 6 is equal to 6. 2, uh, 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Regroup, so carry 1. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Then, bring down or align the decimal point in the sum. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. Then, bring down 3. Therefore, our sum is 30 and 7,063 ten thousands. So again, meron tayong tatlong steps on how we add decimal numbers. First, write the decimal numbers in column. Align the decimal point. Step number 2, annex zeros to complete the decimal places. Step number three, add the numbers just like adding whole numbers. Point of the decimal point align with those in the addends. Sana ay naunawaan nyo kung paano mag-add ng ating decimal numbers. Ngayon naman, punta tayo sa kung paano mag-subtract ng ating decimals. Say for example, what is the difference when 54 and 205 thousandths is subtracted from 175 and 4,567 ten thousands. So, kagaya ng ating adding decimals, meron din tayong tatlong steps on how to subtract. Step 1, write the decimal numbers in column. Align the decimal point. So, we have, okay, we're going to use the clue here, which is from. So, ibig sabihin, ito ang ating magiging minuin. 175 and 4,567. Ang ating magiging subtrahin ay 54 and 205 thousands. Since ang inahanap dito ay difference, so we're going to subtract. Next, pagkatapos nating maayos in column, proceed to step number 2. Annex zeros 
to complete the decimal places. As you can see, I just want to give emphasis on this. Kung titingnan natin kung paano ko inayos ang ating whole number, okay, ang place value na once ay dapat naka-align. Naka-align din ang ating mga tens, hundreds, and so on. Same manner, ang ating decimal point ay dapat naka-align. Tens, naka-align. Hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and so on. Now, kung mapapansin ninyo, merong apat na digit ang ating minuin. Ang ating subtrahin naman ay tatlo lang. So, annex zeros. Para maging apat na digit ang ating subtrahin. Ngayon, at parehas ng ating digit, we can now proceed to our step number 3. Subtract the numbers just like subtracting whole numbers. Points of the decimal points align with those on the addends. So in the same manner, kung paano tayo mag-subtract ng whole numbers, ay ganun din mag-subtract ng decimal numbers. Start from here. 7 minus 0 is equals to 7. 6 minus 5 is equals to 1. 5 minus 0 is equals to 5. 4 minus 2 is equals to 2. Align the decimal point in the difference. 5 minus 4 is equals to 1. 7 minus 5 is equals to 2. And then, bring down 1. So therefore, our difference is 121 and 2,517 ten thousands. Another example, find the difference 85 hundredths minus 236 thousands is equals to blank. So again, there are three steps to be followed. Step 1, write the decimal numbers in column. Align the decimal point. So ang ating menu wind, I, 85 hundredths at ang ating subtrahin naman ay 236 thousands since ang hinahanap natin dito ay difference so we're going to subtract so make sure again that our decimal points are aligned tenths place are aligned hundreds place are aligned thousands place are aligned and so on Step number two, annex zeros to complete the decimal numbers. So kung mapapansin ninyo, ang ating menu wind ay dalawa lang ang digit. Ang ating subtrahend ay tatlo. So dito, importante na lalagyan natin ng zero ang ating menu wind in such a way na magkakaroon tayo ng tatlong digit sa ating menu wind. Now, step number three, subtract the numbers just like subtracting whole numbers. Points of the decimal points aligned with those in the addends. So, we can now subtract. 0 minus 6 cannot be. Cannot be in a sense na mas malaki ang 6 kaysa sa 0. So, ang gagawin natin, regroup. We're going to borrow 1 from 4. So, 4, uh, from 5. So, 5 will become 4. 0 will become 10. Now, 10 minus 6 is equals to 4. 4 minus 3 is equals to 1. 8 minus 2 is equals to 6. Then align the decimal point. Then 0 minus 0 is equals to 0. Therefore, our difference is 614 thousands. Sana ay naunawaan nyo kung paano ang mag-add at mag-subtract ng ating decimal numbers. Ay naman, subukan nga natin kung natuto ka sa araling ito. Maaari mong sagutan ang mga sumusunod na katanungan sa pamamagitan ng pag-post ng video ito. Dahil sa susunod kong slide, ay papakita ko ang tamang sagot dito. We have 
practice exercises. Find the sum or difference. Number one, five thousandths plus sixty-two hundredths is equals to n. Number two, five and eighteen hundredths plus one hundred thirty-one ten thousandths is equals to n. Number three, seventy-two and twenty-five ten thousandths plus fifty-one and fifty-three hundredths is equals to n. Number four, eight and four hundredths minus four hundred thirty-two thousandths is equals to n. Number five, eight thousand four hundred sixty-four ten thousandths minus eight hundred ninety-four ten thousandths is equals to n. Kung natapos mo na, narito ang mga tamang sagot. Tama ba ang mga sagot mo? Kung tama, ay binabati kita. Ibig sabihin, ay natuto ka sa araw na ito. Hanggang dito na lamang. Hanggang sa susunod ulit nating video tutorials. Again, this is Sir James, ang inyong virtual math teacher. Salamat! Paalam! Thank you.